All right, all right, boys and girls. Uh, see, there are many types of contents already available in the YouTube, uh, and people have tried so many things. I was just wondering what can I do differently so that I can appeal to the audience or make myself a good motor vlogger. So I was just thinking since I just don't want to you know make it complicated and try too much of technicalities and everything because there are lot many videos that are that are well above my capabilities. Lo lot many people who are more knowledgeable than me. So I will be sharing my experiences in my life as well but this is a video in which I want to experiment by uh, talking about anime. Uh, like I told, I don't want to, you know, make myself complicated and uh, do which is not me. So I will just talk about what, how, how, what type of anime I like and uh, connect with all the anime people in India and all over the world as well. So if you find like this, these kind of videos will be useful then please make sure to you know support me and uh, let me know in the comments because this is a experiment video and I will be making few more videos about anime by motorblogging. So if you find it is like appealing to you guys then make sure you show some love. So I am just gonna speak about one anime which is for this video which was you know released a long time ago but the season 2 came in 2023 and it was awarded as the best anime of 2023 and if you are you know anime geek you, you should be knowing that which is the anime of the year of 2023 it's none other than Vinland Saga that anime is that anime left a very very you know uh, a deep deep thought in my head uh, because the contrast between the first and the second because the contrast between the first and the second season is immense if you see the first season it is only of killing revenge blood no mercy and everyone are enemies uh, for the protagonist which is none other than Thorfinn the son of Thor so if you see the first season it is just amazing the animation style is next to none the quality of the animation is what the immense feeling it gives because it's like a movie man the storytelling is beautiful the villain oh my god Asterad. I have no words for him because he is the type of villain like every every anime needs I like him very much man he is more inspirational the, to me than some of the other characters in that of course the of course the Thors who is the father of Thorfinn oh my god he is just amazing the words he tells to Thorfinn we have no enemies there are no enemies you don't have to be an enemy that's those are some powerful words. Honestly, that is what it is about. The season one of that anime is a masterpiece. But the season two is what gets you. Because 
after watching season 1 you might think that season 2 will be much, much more bloodier and much more intense much more of violence and everything but season 2 is not at all like that it's just like night and day man the season 2 of that anime is oh my god is only of realization what should be done what is the true happiness he's just trying to find out what is the true happiness in his life he realized that revenge is not the best thing after killing the person who killed his father he found out that revenge is not everything and it leaves you in a pretty deep hole where there is nothing after getting the revenge nothing in your life you can achieve so after realizing that if you see the season 2 oh my god it's just i don't know how 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 those people you know like even come up with these kind of stories so that's why every time when i see this kind of movies now where there is a lot of contrast between season 1 and season 2 it's just amazing i'm i'm so like I was so, you know, shocked by seeing each and every episode of that anime. It's just so amazing and just beautiful to watch. The characters, the character development, how they introduce, how they build their story, how they build their characteristics of every performance in that uh, anime. It's just amazing. Beautiful to watch. The animation style is what gets you. It's it's familiar, it's like mixing the vintage style and uh, the modern style. There is good kind of uh, anime style, but... But also the sketching and the style of the... Uh, cal but this... The kind of character designs and also the kind of anime style that is oh my god it's just a very nice mixture of the vintage and the newer modern style you will be amazed i am 100 percent sure because when i showed uh, the first episode of vinland saga even to my friend who has not watched many animes The first thing what he told was, I like this animation style, I like the way it looks. That was the first thing he told. And then I agreed with that because it's not, it's not at all like any other anime. I've watched so many man, I've watched so many. Then uh, it is kind of similar to Devil Man Cry Baby, but uh, it is not that uh, old style or crayonic style as well it has some modern touches but uh, if you want to compare it to anything else that is the same style i would say it is i would say it is like devil man cry baby that is the closest to what i can think of right now at the moment in my mind but honestly but Vindan Saga is like and one more thing even though being such a good and amazing anime not many people have watched that that's the most surprising part people have watched uh, Jutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer you know uh, Chainsaw Man all these animes but I'm very much surprised to know that People have not watched Vinland Saga. So whoever is getting into anime, you know, the newer audience, who have not watched anime till now, and yet to experience anime, 
and people who have already watched the quite a bit of anime and didn't watch our uh, Vinland Saga and you are missing out on some crazy shit because it's just epic the, if you see the fights in season 1 right the animation style is so good it is so people talk about the uh, map and everything man you watch Vinland Saga's fights between Thor's and Thorkill and uh, even when he goes to fight all the army you just see the style right you will be just amazing you will be in awe that is what I want to you know experience it's not like any other fights it's like that winter style if you have if you guys have seen Naruto so there will be fight between uh, uh, Rocky and Gara in the OG Naruto if you see that animation style, right, it is so much comparable to that. And I don't know why Naruto has not been able to replicate that kind of style in the Naruto or Naruto Shippuden. Of course, the animation has got done better, but it's... But the Gaara and the uh, uh, Rocky fight is just something else. So I just want to, you know, want you people guys to experience that. That is what I can say. It is so 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 good. Start with the Avignon Saga and let me know what you feel in the comment section. That is all there is to this video.